I'm finally home and it's time for you. What is this? Enable focus is minimum to better extend. Yeah, sure. I don't even have uh, other quests, so huh. no worries. Let's go. Maybe we should head over and have a look around. I've been waiting for this for a long time. So let's see what Arlecchino has to offer on her quest. Hey, traveler, Paimon. I thought we were doing Arlecchinos. Oh, never mind. Oh, Paimon knows that voice. Lini. Over here. Sashiburi dane. To borrow one of the more popular turns of phrase at the moment, this appears to be quite the faded reunion. Running into you two out of the blue like this has really made my day. I certainly wasn't expecting it. I feel like that faked reunion I heard someone else say that. Wait, Paimon's got it! You must be here for one of your magic shows, right? Magic um, shows in sewers? Actually, we've run into a bit of trouble on the home front. So father arranged for us to stay in Poisson for the time being. Okay. Oh, are Lynette and Fremenet here too? Yep, along with most of the other members of the House of the Hearth. You may have noticed Poisson seems a bit more crowded than usual. Okay, so, so you're there's you're more the people in the House of the Hearth. Has moved to Poisson? Sounds like you've run into way more than just a bit of trouble. What's really going on? Um, well, since the two of you are so curious, hello. I can fill in the gaps. Where did you come from? You scared Paimon half to death. <laughs> Hello, Arlecchino. Father, you're here. Um, you know, <laughs> on second thought, maybe we don't need to know. It's all probably super confidential House of the Heart stuff, right? Paimon, why are you afraid? Oh, trying to pry or anything. No need to be nervous. I could sense your genuine concern from your conversation just now. Of course, I can also understand your confusion. Sending so many Fatui here to Poisson, it's only natural that some might suspect an ulterior motive to be involved. Oh, yeah, we're I either curious. I'm well aware you've had your fair share of confrontations with the Fatui in the past, and I can't exactly guarantee that we'll remain on good terms in the future. The first impression is the most important, and my first impression of the Fatui was Signora. And Signora literally kicked the Archon. <laughs> so I guess we're not really on good terms with the Fatui, but you seem cool. You seem nice. As for right now, however, I would say we have little reason to be at odds, wouldn't you agree? The House of the Hearth could stand to be more open with those who have worked so closely with us in the past. All right. As for the issue at hand, well, it hardly relates to any ulterior motive. To be frank, it all stems from a certain rumor circulating around the House of the Hearth. It's an internal matter. Mm. What sort of rumor? What a rumor? A rumor that a certain phantom child is hiding away in the House of the Hearth. The what? Ghost story, maybe? A phantom child? Ooh, just hearing the name is giving my What do you mean, Phantom Child? A spirit that should have long ceased to exist is lurking in the shadows of the House of the Hearth. So I decided okay. to bring the children to Poisson before continuing to investigate the situation. I expect I should be able to track down the spirit fairly quickly. After that, it's just a matter of resolving the situation, if you will. It shouldn't be much trouble. Do you need any help? If you're curious, or if you still have some concerns, it might be advisable to stick around for a few days. I'm sure the children would be exceedingly pleased to welcome some visitors. I guess. Lenny, I'll leave you to entertain our guests. I have some matters to attend to. Of course, Father. Was that a cat? <gasps> I'm gonna help but feel intimidated during that conversation with the knave. Not that she... She was not intimidating. They can offer a few days, but why? Hmm. It has long been a dream of mine to invite you to our home and introduce you to my other siblings. You're quite well known in the organization already. I'm popular. A lot of people have been talking about you, especially after everything with the prophecy. Oh yeah, willing, that happened. Why don't you stay a while and have a little chat with us? Mm. All right. 
we don't have anything else to do right now anyway. But let's be clear, we're just gonna be there as guests, okay? Don't get any funny... Oh, wait a second. If we're your guests, that probably means we'll be treated really, to some yummy food, right? I mean, I'm of down course. to some yummy food, too. During our stay in Poisson, we've been helping out the locals with some fishing. We bring in quite the bounty every day. In fact, today is the perfect chance for me to show you what I can do in the kitchen. Okay. Let's go. I'll take you to where we're staying. Sounds good. Let's go. When the hearth flame goes out, Ignis Purgatorius. Be a house guest. Well, that sounds intriguing. We rented this house from one of the locals to use as a temporary base. I'll come back later and tidy up a bit. After that, it should be all ready for you to stay in tonight. Awesome, thanks! So, where are we off to now? Well, when I happened to run into you two earlier, I was actually in the middle of distributing some supplies. With this many people staying in Poisson, we have to bring in outside supplies every now and then. I should probably make sure the rest of these provisions get delivered, otherwise people might start to get antsy. Okay. Okay, we'll come with! Sure, we'll tag along. Sorts of rumors about your organization. This is starting to be Lini's story quest. Sure if she could even take a wild guess as to what's true and what's not. But now that we finally have the chance to see a day in the life of the house, we can take a good look at how you operate. I mean, she's right. Well, you're more than welcome to come along. Just follow me. All right. Let's see what this house of art is all about. Has Lini distribute supplies? Linny, we're finally here. The supplies. I'm assuming you've brought them with me. Yep, here you go. Uh, Where are you keeping them? Hello. Something caught your eye? I know I'm beautiful. It's the traveler in Paimon. And you are. No way! Come here, everyone! Hurry! The traveler and Paimon are here! Okay, I'm popular. And this is cringe. One at a time, please. Don't crowd around them all at once. We don't want to scare off our guests now, do we? Oh, it's all right. <laughs> Gotta say, Paimon didn't realize we were this famous. <laughs> I mean, yes. Of course. Father and Linny have told us so much Wait, about Wait, Arlequino you. said a Father told us things about us? According to her, you're a trustworthy friend. And as far as she's concerned, I'm what? that's pretty much the highest compliment we've ever heard her give. As you can imagine, everyone's been very curious about you. So now uh, I'm a, a trustworthy friend with the fourth Harbinger. That's pretty neat. I heard the Traveler is so strong that she can move a mountain with her bare hands. Say what again? Paimon eats so much that she can clean up the entire pantry and hotel to four in just three days. Wait a second. Good job, Mr. Gluton. Remember you heard about Paimon? Mine's oh, also cool a little strange. Oh, wait. When guests visit, you're supposed to give them gifts and stuff, right? There's no need oh, for gifts. We don't need something like that. Besides, we don't have anything to give to uh, you. <laughs> any pink wishes, by Come any on, chance? We insist. I can give you some of my new potions. Just pick your poison. Po potion, now, potions? Medicine or actual poison? What? I got both. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Or maybe Shaplo can teach you guys about stealth. He's super good at it. He's never been caught. Ah, now that's not a bad idea. I know you usually prefer to fight head on, but it never hurts to expand your bag of tricks, right? When it comes to eliminating your enemies, staying quiet can go a long way. Trust me, I would know. I feel like I, I'm starting to enjoy this house of hearth. It's it's what are they doing here? I was What's their training? Long ago, what? And I'm still dealing with the after effects. So I'm not quite as good as I was before, but I can still give you some pointers. Okay. Um, wait. Uh, when you said gifts, I didn't think you meant poison and stealth tactics. I don't even know what I can Those use poison are the best for. Things we can give you. You don't like them? Ooh, how about this? Tell them that you have someone who really annoys you, and we'll teach them a lesson for you. So now I can hire assassins. I mean, hire. I can ask favors from assassins. I feel like I'm getting a little too well known in this uh, in this category. And then just suggest and keep on coming around. After now, you start to get a bit overwhelmed. All right, Fold Selwar. I think that's enough suggestions for now. 
When it comes to being a good host, it's the thought that counts. You don't need a physical gift to make our guests happy. And stop fact, giving away people them with poison. Suggestion after suggestion might make them more annoyed than anything. I would say your enthusiasm has certainly gotten across. You're right. Really? Yeah. We definitely feel love. Awesome! It's been so long since we've had guests to play with. If there's anything you need, just let us know. Okay. Yeah, especially if it's poison or something. That I girl's sanity needs a check. <clears throat> Well, we'll talk to you all later. We've still got supplies to distribute. All right, see you later. Bye. Um, <laughs> Lindy, about all that poison. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Scared you, did it? That kind of talk comes with being part of the House of the Hearth. When Foltz was really young, he strangled all of his family pets. Just uh... out of curiosity. He was labeled a dangerous problem child and was abandoned by his family. Okay. Elwar has an unnatural obsession with potions. Father has forbidden her from trying all the different concoctions she comes up with, but she still tries to test them in secret. We really have to keep an eye on that one. Can we do a sanity Except check on these kids? around my age. While I'm mainly responsible for collecting intelligence, he handles surveillance. He's very passionate about his work and has no reservations about taking on some very difficult missions. I know you two probably aren't used to that kind of talk, but I can promise you they only had the best of intentions. Things like stealth tactics and developing different poisons... They really mean a lot to them. Yeah, I they figured it out. To share the I best figured that out. Offer. That's all. Continue distributing supplies. Filial, supplies are here. Thanks. And who are these two? <gasps> Outsiders? Ah, allow me to introduce you. This is the Traveler and Paimon. Oh, you're the famous duo I've been hearing so much famous about. Famous duo. It's nice to meet you. I heard you've traveled to all sorts of places. Is that true? I'm a traveler. Of course! We're making our way all across to that! Oh, good for you. You must be pretty familiar with Fontaine by now, then. Have you seen the new opera that started running recently? Uh, I think it's called... Uh, the 4,000 Don't get so, Don't get your hopes oh, up. This is the first we've heard of it. It seems like it's going to be fantastic. From what I've been able to tell from the posters, anyway. You should definitely check it out if you have the time. Oh, and there's the Blind Maiden, too. That one is supposed to have audience interaction. Seems pretty interesting. I just spent some time talking about uh, that must it becomes After a... this okay. mission is over, I think I'll go get a manicure. Oh, uh, maybe I should dye my hair. Why? Hmm. Wonder how much it'll cost. Um... Is it just Paimon, or do these two seem much easier to get along <laughs> with than the others? Looks like the House of the Hearth has some normal members after all. <laughs> How are kids I more insane than these two? Oh! Uh... Oops. <laughs> I'm guessing you're referring to Foltz and the others. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not all like them. I bet those crazies are practically foaming at the mouth right now. I'm sure they just can't wait to get back to Snezhnaya to carry out the plan. The plan? That's enough, Filial. Oh. Uh, don't talk about family members behind oh, okay. their back, right? I thought Whatever. she was giving out intel Let's go. without permission. Um, guess this is goodbye then. Goodbye. If you ever have some time, we should go see the opera together. You're right, bro. Well, that's it for the supplies. We should probably head back as well. Okay. Wait, did he have a story quest? I well, forgot. They didn't seem too happy with each other. Seems like there could be something more going on here. It's better not to pry. You're right. I don't really care to be honest. Yes, after all. Oh, uh, Linny's getting super far ahead. Come on, let's catch up. Okay. Hold on a moment. Oh, the Phantom Thief. Okay, yeah, I remember. 
So, what do you think of the members you've met so far? They're nice. <laughs> well, Father is always encouraging us to be strong-willed and independent. So if there's one thing we've got, it's people who aren't afraid to speak their mind. Yeah, I well, figured I it out. Well, should probably get cooking. Wanna join? Let bro cook. Of course! Then let's head out and... Uh-huh. Fremenay, what are you doing here? My guy's staring at a box. Uh, well, um... Fremenay, nice to see you again! Oh, uh... You too. I heard you're here as guests of House of the Hearth. Welcome. We were just going to make some food. Why don't you come along? I could use some help in the kitchen, and I seem to remember you mentioning you wanted to make seafood soup for the traveler in Paima. The what soup? Mm, seafood soup? Oh, I think I've really had seafood already. soup, and it wasn't the best. Were you looking for something just now, Fremenay? Maybe I can help. Uh, it's nothing. I just wanted to see if there were any extra supplies. Yeah, we've got some left over. What do you need? Some food and water. And some clean cloth, if possible. No problem. Give me a second here. Food, water... Wait a minute. What do you need all of those for? <laughs> You're not on any missions as far as I'm aware. And you were just going to come eat with us. So what's this all about? I... Uh... I thought I'd grab an extra portion because I get hungry at night. That's could the worst lie someone I'm could ever growing, tell. You know, and. Uh... Fremine, you remember what I told you? You're not like me. <laughs> Your lying skills still need some work. Well. Uh... Tell me what's going on. Is it really bad enough that you have to keep it from your own brother? Yeah, let's uh, back out, back off a bit. This is the first time I've seen that kind of look on your face. Whatever happened, does it have something to Did do? Did you get scolded? Yes. That's the answer. Just uh, follow me. What big reveal are you going to, to give us about Arlecchino? And when are we going to call her Arlecchino? You're back! Oh, and you've brought some friends with you this time! Hello, Who are you? my name's Linny. I grew up in the House of the Hearth. And you are? Hi, Linny. I'm also a child of the House of the Hearth. Just like you! You can call me Clairvy. Wait, why are you like... Clairvy? Am I tripping? It's nice to meet you. Is she... like... I don't even know. Her textures are weird. Am I the only one who sees that? Eyes are way brighter than the others. And she looks like she's... I don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> okay, we'll continue this. She looks she looks like a ghost. Is this the ghost of the House of the Heart? Does that name ring any bells, Winnie? No, not at all. That's not a name we have on our roster. I'm sure of it. What I'm not sure of, though, is how she managed to And how in. smiley she is. She must be the phantom child oh. father's been searching for. Okay, so I realized it a little it, earlier. I'm guessing you were the one that found her, Fremenay. You, uh, haven't told father, have you? No, I haven't told anyone. I've just been keeping her hidden. For how long? Uh, what was the reason? About... Half a month now. So ever since we got to Poisson, then, do you have any idea what you're doing? The question is, how is Arlecchino not finding out about this? She seems pretty good at intel gathering. Uh, uh, or does she know and she just wants to wait for her, uh, for Fremine to reveal the truth? I know what I'm doing. No, you're not. Really? Because from where I'm standing, it looks like you're hiding the very person father has been trying to find. If father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. You know the rules of the house, Fremenay. I know you do. Father doesn't tolerate any form of betrayal. 
So why are you doing this? Is this called betrayal? I've thought it through. And I just can't hand her over like that. Linny, don't you remember last year? Sheplo nearly died after getting poisoned during that one mission. He wasn't able to get back before the poison started taking effect. And not a single person was there to help him. That night, while I was sleeping, I heard a voice telling me to go save him. I opened my eyes, but I couldn't find the source of the voice. I thought maybe I was just hearing things, but I went to look for him anyway. Luckily, I got there with enough time to save his life. That feeling of being haunted, of hearing voices, it's happened many times in the house of the hearth. Yeah, she doesn't look normal. I mean, if this is how they are now making ghosts instead of those little children you see in uh, in Liyue, then they've really improved on their animations. Because from what, it, what I can see, she isn't like... How do I say this? Animated like uh, the other NPCs. She literally looks... And she looks like an NPC, but different. I don't know how to say how, how to uh, interpret this. So what you're saying is she has a more bright face. I don't know. Her? As you can see, Lini has a more darker night? face. Unless there same with Fremine, same with the, the traveler the and everyone else. I don't think there's any other possibility. She looks pale. If Clairvy were our enemy, it wouldn't matter whether she was a spirit or an actual child. I would have acted without a second thought. Because that's what father ordered us to do. But she's been living with us, helping us from the shadows all this time. I think that makes her family. And I want to know how it, how Alekino doesn't know about this. With. Not when there's so much we still don't know. So what's your plan then? You can't keep her here forever. Someone is bound to find out eventually. Well, you just did. I haven't just found that out far yet. I don't want to disobey an order from father, but I also don't want to put Clairvy in danger. I mean, I don't think Helen, she's in there danger. There are a couple things I'd like to say to you in private. Okay. I'm literally just a spectator here. <laughs> Those two sure care a lot about each other. <laughs> Even her voice is weird. Well, funny way of showing it. From where Paimon was floating, it sure seemed what? like they were about to bite each other's heads off. <laughs> where Paimon was floating? They have a really deep bond. I could tell right away, because I also have a friend like that. I just don't know how long that kind of bond can last. What's going on here? The darkness in the house runs deeper than you can imagine. No one can get out alive. That's not There's creepy so at all. Ready. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. Oh, really? You didn't mean to? Because I, for one, wish you did. Huh? What do you mean? You know, when we were younger, you didn't call me Linny. You called me brother, just like Lynette. We grew up together, the three of us. We were all orphans, all rescued by father. Of all the siblings in the House of the Hearth, I think our bond was the closest. Later on, when you started calling me Linny, I wasn't actually surprised. After all, Lynette and I are related by blood. We've had to depend on each other to survive long before we joined the house. Linny, I... The darkest okay. and most difficult moments of my life happened before you and I had ever met. I'm sure that's true for you as well. Even so, Fremenet, we've stood by each other for all these years now, and to me... That means more than blood. You and Lynette are the most important people in my life. No one can replace you. So I won't let you face anything alone. Not if I can help it. Oh, it looks like things are getting kind of heated between Linny and Fremine. How do you Maybe know we that? Go check on them. Okay, let's check on them. Oh. Uh, with Arlecchino. <laughs> yes, sure. We aren't interrupting anything like a fight or I'm on your terrible oh, at this. Wait a minute, Fremine, you're not crying, are you? Is everything all right? Everything's fine. 
Thanks for that nice. brother emotion. Well, we're all friends here, right? We're Siblings emotion. So if there's anything we can do to help, just say the word. It's just a small family dispute. It's not something our guests should trouble themselves with. In fact, it might be better if your stay ended here. But sometimes having guests around can come in handy. Uh, what are you getting at, Traveler? When guests are around, families are often on their best behavior. And any disputes are less likely to escalate. That's what you're trying to say. Oh, so if it? Arlecchino gets mad, we can uh, de-escalate the problem without any interference. But I'm pretty sure that's not how we're going to do this. I think it'll be better if you stick around. I... Plus, I Just... want to know the whole thing about that creepy person. Thank you. I was really hoping to keep you out of it. But even if I could think of some other reason to turn you away, I'm not sure I could convince you. I know things could turn dangerous, so I promise you this. From now on, I'll protect you like my life depends on it. Me too. Okay. Well, I mean, I think I'm stronger than both of you. Then. If we don't plan on handing Clarvy over to Father, then our only other option is to solve the mystery of her identity before Father is able to track her down. That means finding out where she came from and what she's doing here. Then we can send her on her merry way and pretend like none of this ever happened. The question is, why aren't is Arlequino trying to get rid of this phantom child? Or is she just trying to find out what, what is going on with her? Because if she's just trying to find out what's going on with her, why don't why aren't we just scratching each other's backs? Hello? I've tried that already. And? And nothing. I tried taking her somewhere really far away, but after some time, she just reappeared. She even came with us all the way to Poisson. It seems like wherever the house is, she follows. Wait a moment, doesn't she look familiar to you? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on a moment. Now I realized. Isn't she 